here we are at Elgas Sydney LPG Cavern. I'd like to introduce you to Mac. He is the rostered operations controller who is in charge of the site today. Yes, Penelope. Hello. I'm not ready to load in straight away. Okay. Well, just move your tanker to the waiting bay until you're ready to load. Okay, thanks. What can I do for you? I would like a work permit, please. Okay. What is it going to be doing today? I'd like to go out on site and run through the induction video. Are you going to take the camera? Yes. You'll require a hot work permit for that, as the camera could be a potential source of ignition. If you need to photograph your work, then cameras can be used under an appropriate work permit. Can we raise that work permit now, Matt? Well, to raise a work permit, you need to complete Section 1 of the Work Permit form. Here you must fill out your name, designation and the company that you represent. Operational isolations are usually closing off process block valves or simply depressing a local stop button in the field. Instrument electrical isolations are the isolation of power supply by opening the circuit breaker or switch gear in the switch room. These are located at the entrance and exit of the base. Then open the manual deluge release valve and report to the control room. Blue banded or foam extinguishers are used for wood, paper and flammable liquids. Aim the extinguisher at the base of the fire and apply the agent in a side to side motion. Move forward as the fire is knocked down. Reverse out. Never turn your back on a fire even though you may think it is out. If you are operating mobile plant and equipment, such as cherry pickers, forklifts, backhoes, etc., you must have an appropriate license. If you're working at heights and there is potential to fall, you must have some form of protection in place. Mm -hmm. 